All right, guys, welcome into Yes We Can Outdoors. And today we're gonna go over cook pots and see which pot will boil faster. So that's gonna be the whole show today. I have five cooking pots I have used or I do use when I go backpacking. So I thought it'd be really cool to go over each one. Um, the reason why I chose a little bit bigger of pots because I, I don't go your typical smaller pot. Mine are all 750 mill milliliters or larger. Uh, we got steel, we got titanium, we got aluminum and kind of um, the reason behind that. And then let's get it, we're gonna see which one of these boil water fastest. So I went ahead and uh, we're gonna measure two cups of water for each one of these. I'm going to use my uh, Fire Maple 300 uh, ultralight stove on each one of these. And we're at the same exact sea level, same exact elevation, same exact temperature for all of these. So it'll be tap cold water. Um, but first, before we do that, when I go on my backpacking trips, I generally take the 100 gram fuel can. It's just perfect size to fit each one of these pots. Okay, so we're gonna use a 230 gram uh, jet fuel, jet, fuel yeah, jet boil fuel can, which is 230 grams. We're gonna be using this to ignite the Fire Maple 300 and test out which one boils water the quickest. I normally take my 100 gram can, but what I do is for a dollar more, I get more than double of this fuel can and I just take my handy dandy uh, fuel transfer device made by Flip Fuel, which are now available in REI. Super awesome, so happy for you guys. But if you want 20% off on this Flip Fuel device, there will be a link down in my description below. I will put a link of that video going over this flip fuel device down in the description as well. So before we go and get started today, do me a favor. If you like my material so far, do you mind just taking a pause right now, going down, hitting subscribe, hitting that bell notification as well. That's gonna help my channel grow and uh, continue to bring content to you guys. Okay, so like I said before, I have five cook pots that I use. We're not gonna test the jet boil. Uh, the jet boil, they say, boils in 100 seconds at uh, sea level. So we're not gonna test this one today because it does have its own burner, its own burn coils, so it definitely uh, will boil much quicker, but they're heavier, they're bulkier, they're a little bit larger, way more expensive. I think when I checked today, I wanna say this was around 145 or so. So we're gonna take a look at these four other pots today. Okay, so number one is a steel pot. This is made by Stanley. This is $45 and it's 24 fluid ounces. But we're gonna go ahead and weigh this right now and see what this weighs in on my scale. So this Stanley cup comes in at 7.5 ounces on my scale. I don't wanna leave Stanley empty, empty and hanging. It does come with two insulated coffee cups for that price as well. I didn't wanna leave this part out. Next is the GSI Micro Duelis Aluminum Cooking Pot. Uh, keep in mind, this is for two people. It's a 1.4 liter pot. And you kind of see a theme with these pots that I have right now. Uh, generally, when I do go backpacking, um, for me personally, I like to warm up my hot water for my meal, have a little bit of extra water for some tea just to kind of soothe my, uh, my bowel and just give me a nice and warm or have some coffee. The other flip side of this too is when my wife comes or when I have other backpackers around camp, it's just nice to kind of boil water for a couple extra people. It saves fuel because you're not starting from scratch of uh, cold water again. Uh, there's already warm or, or lukewarm water available. And it's just a couple ounces more at times, depending on the pot. Um, so that's the reason why most of mine are, are a little bit larger, 750 milliliters or 1.4 liter. Um, mainly for two people or dual purposes. So as of today, this GSI pot is $69.95. And keep in mind, it's not just this cooked pot. So I'm not gonna go over in detail of everything, but I just want you guys to know that it does come with um, a couple insulated cups as well, and it does come with a little dishwasher. This will hold boiling hot water. You can wash your dishes in here. So for $69.95, you're not just getting this, you're getting a couple extra accessories as well. Okay, so this GSI cook pot comes in at 7.95 ounces on this aluminum pot. Okay, next we'll go over the titanium gritter. This is a 750 milliliter gritter, which comes in today as of this video of 29.99. It has two handles. 
but it also does have this extra little uh, handle up top if you and this guy comes in at 4.5 ounces so this 75 milliliter 750 milliliter gritter titanium is 4.5 ounces next we're going to be going over the tokes um titanium cook pot as of today this is 29.95 um it does come with a lid with a little bit of a little finger grab up top right there and this pot comes in at a whopping low 4.15 so 4.15 ounces i'm going to turn on my stove we're going to put in two cups of water in each individual pot or cook cup i'm going to time it and we're going to see how fast each one of these boil all right two cups of water measured Pot, lid on, two turns. I'm gonna put each turn the same on the um, on the fuel. I'm ready. Here we go. Signs of boiling already. Signs, not boiling yet, but signs of boiling. We're getting there. I'm gonna put my headlamp on so I can see the water better. We're two minutes and 30 seconds. Boil, two minutes and 30 seconds. The way this does have a little uh, motion sensor, which is kind of cool. So by looking, my lights don't get down into the cup because it's so bright. So I thought it would be really cool just to put on my headlamp and make sure I can look at it for you guys. Okay, so this GSI was two minutes and 30 seconds. Let's make a note. All right, so we set the GSI aside. Now I'm gonna focus on the gritter, 750 milliliter titanium cook pot. Two twists, fire it up. That's kind of a cool thing about this though, is this is somewhat hot. It is a little hot, but this right here is not hot. So I really like that feature having that. All right guys, next on the list is the stainless steel Stanley cook cup. Let's get going with this one. Timer reset, two twists. And go. While this is boiling, coming up on a minute almost, I have the link in the bottom of the description for all of these cups down below. I do have some affiliate links, so there might be a small commission paid to me if you do take advantage of buying one of these. It does not alter the price for you whatsoever. It's a small commission given to me, whatever website it's linked to. Two minutes to take a gander. A couple extra bubbles, not very much though. It's gonna be interesting, folks. This is gonna be interesting. Two minutes and 30 seconds, two minutes and 30 seconds, no boil yet. And we got a boil. We got a boil at three minutes and 30 seconds. Stanley Steel Cook Cup. The ever so popular Tokes Titanium Cup Out. This is probably one of the more um, popular cook pots available on the market. And I just happen to like the bigger ones as I already explained. So let's do this. Let's get this all set up here. Two full turns. Light her up. And we're off to the races. The Tokes. It really, really cooks. The Tokes. Light 
two and a half minutes just passed and no boil yet. There is a boil. Three, 311. She was boiling at 311. All right, here it is. Two minutes and 30 seconds for the GSI. The gritter came in at two minutes and 50 seconds. We had the Tokes come in at three minutes and 11 seconds. And then we had the Stanley come in at three minutes and 30 seconds. But wait, I just realized something. I put the water over here in preparation for this video and it I got sidetracked cooking dinner. So that water sat, probably became room temperature and was not Luke cold. So I'm gonna rewind this thing. I'm gonna get two more cups of water. I'm gonna put it back in the GSI and make sure that this two minute and 30 second mark is accurate for you, the viewer. So don't go away yet. Okay, so to be fair, I just put two cups of cold water in this. I'm gonna redo this GSI. I wanna make sure what the numbers I'm sharing are completely accurate from a real boil versus uh, room temperature because it did sit out here for, I don't know, probably about an hour, hour and a half as I was uh, preparing dinner for my kids. So let's get this thing going one more time. Two cups of cold water. Well, I just moved this faucet all the way to the cold, lift it up for 30 seconds, let it drain, and then put them all the same. So that's what I was doing. All right, lid on. Reset my stopwatch here. Two turns. Light her up. And we're off. Timer started. Also, I'll put the prices of all of these cups down below as well. I'll put links at the bottom for you so you can take a look at your own convenience. Couple bubbles. Two minutes, two minutes. Ooh, it's getting there, it's really close. It's about to boil. 3.05, boil, 3.08. Guys, this came in at three minutes and eight seconds. Do you know what that means? It has now been moved down. The new quickest boiling pot that I have at elevation for all these exact same temperature, exact same stove, exact same a water amount was the Gritter 750. At two minutes and 50 seconds, this thing cooked two cups of water. The GSI came in at two or at three minutes and eight seconds. We have the Tokes coming in at three minutes and 11 seconds. Rounding off is the Stanley, which came in at three minutes and 30 seconds. So again, I'll have a link to all these cups at the very bottom. Again, some of them come with some accessories, some of them don't. I hope this helps make a decision for you guys, whether it's balancing out the size, how quick it might boil, um, the cost, and figuring out what might be best for you. Again, well guys, thanks for tuning in today. When someone asks you to get outdoors and go backpacking, you say, yes, we can. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.